Hey, what's up, everybody? David Wood here for DavidWoodFX.blogspot.com and NoiseJunkies.net to bring you tutorial number three in my Photoshop tutorial series on special effects from the animated kid show Teen Titans. Today's tutorial will look at the uh, Starbolt effect seen in the show and used by Starfire and her sister Blackfire, which my last tutorial was on the effects around her hands, and this is the actual uh, energy bolt that she throws. And this is a sample of what the final outcome will look like. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to open a new blank image and just use the default Photoshop size. The background color we want to be black. And we will go to Filters, Render Clouds, and Filters, Render Difference Clouds. And we are going to save this image as a PSD. So I'm saving it to my desktop and we'll call this 1. And then we can simply undo both of those effects. Go to Filters, Render, Clouds again. And Filters, Render, Difference Clouds. To uh, use some different cloud seed samples and create a different result. And we'll save this one as PSD number 2. Uh, once that's done we can just fill the background in with black and we will create a new blank layer above it and we're just going to use the polygonal lasso tool and we'll create this sort of sideways ice cream cone just like this and it's sort of like an arrowhead and we are going to fill it in with a green color if you have your color swatches up here choose this green color and fill that in and then select deselect or control D. Then what we'll do is we'll go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and uh, we'll give this a blur of about 9. will work well for this example. And then we'll duplicate the layer by hitting control J. And the second one we are going to uh, displace it by those PSDs that we just made. So we'll go to filters, distort, displace, and in here we'll set up the horizontal and vertical scale. Horizontal scale will be about 5 and this will displace it to the right by 5 pixels and the vertical scale will do that by 10 and that will displace it up by 10 pixels. And Hit OK and choose that first PSD or that will displace it downward and you can see it displaced it, the edges of it a little bit and then we'll go to filters, distort displace again and set up the vertical scale in the opposite direction so negative 10 and hit OK. This will displace it up. Choose the second PSD file and there you have a very cloud-like uh, texture to that and you can continue displacing it by however much you want. You can make additional PSD layers and cloud layers and stuff and it will always give it a very unique cloud texture. We might just displace this by a little bit more, uh, possibly by five, using the first one, and then five by the second one, and that'll just it'll just help give it a more unique look. And the more you do that, and we can turn on the bottom layer to see how that looks. This bottom one will just scale down slightly. So holding down Shift and Alt will scale it down. Hit OK. And then just position it forward a little bit just to uh, make sure that we have a brighter spot up front. And we'll merge these layers together. Then we'll double click on it. And in our layer styles, we'll go to the inner glow set the source to center and set the color to a yellow a very light yellow and the blend mode on hard light and then we can play with the size and the range until we get something that uh, just has this hotter green color in the middle here we can play with opacity as well now we don't want something pure yellow like that, that's a little much. So just playing with the 
size and the range again and the opacity. We can even choose a lighter yellow color. Maybe something a little more green in it. Uh, this is all about personal preference. Uh, that looks better. So this slightly green color worked best for this image. And hit OK. And then create a new transparent layer below that by holding down Control and clicking on the new layer icon and merge the top layer onto that. And that will apply the layer effect so it's no longer uh, possible to edit that. And then we will double click on the layer again, choose Inner Glow, set it to Source again, choose a white color, not pure white, something a little yellow or green, and opacity at 100%, and the size, we'll put that up. Uh, we just want to have a more of a hot spot towards the front end here and we can try different um, blend modes on this. Add might look good once we finish toying with the settings. Screen looks good. Hard light looks pretty good too. And just go through and play with those and it's really personal preference in here. I think that looks pretty good setting it on add. And just adjusting this a little more, playing with the range and the size. So just so you have a slight hot spot in the middle there and hit OK. And finally what we'll do is we'll choose white as our foreground color and choose the paintbrush tool. And we just want to add a white highlight right in the front. So choose a brush that just fits that image something like that and lock the layers alpha channel and apply that and if you might have to lower the opacity a little bit for it just like that and lower the opacity again to something like 20 and apply it uh, slightly behind it just so it looks like it fades out and then we can double click on the layer again and go to outer glow and in the outer glow settings we want to choose a pure green just like that. Increase the size and increase the range and the opacity just like that and hit OK. And there you have the star bolt effect. Now again um, if this was purple you would use different purple colors instead. So an outer glow that would be purple. Inner color would be purple and something like a color overlay would also come out purple just like so and again you can play with the different effects and blend modes of this until you get something you like I think that looks pretty good this outer glow is a little dark so we'll just choose something a little closer to purple and they increase the opacity. But that is all there is to that basic effect. It's pretty simple. You can go ahead and uh, displace this again if you want by another noise layer. Let's choose something bigger this time. And uh, make sure to turn off the lock alpha in, in case you had that on. and just something uh, like this. Just keep playing with those effects and you can get more and more interesting results. These are a little much, so I'll undo those. But that's it for this effect. Go ahead and add that over the previous effect, which was on the energy uh, radiating around Starfire's and Blackfire's hands. And you've got a really cool uh, fireball star bolt effect which you can use in all kinds of other situations. So that's it for this tutorial. I'm David Wood, David Wood FX. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, and also 
on noisejunkies.net. Follow along with the blog as we post interesting things on there. And as always, leave a comment telling me if you like this tutorial. So until next time, I'm David Wood, David Wood FX, and I will talk to you guys later.